two next two were influenced by Viv Mom. She made them and I thought they looked lovely. The only thing is Viv Mom is tall and has a slim body and I'm short and fat. <laughs> so, whether the dress that Viv Mom is wearing will look as attractive and as lovely on a little short fat person than it is on a tall thin person I don't know but I had to get them and this one the first one I thought she looked absolutely delicious she looked, she looked lovely in it and she it was in a lilac a lilac cotton I think it was lilac cotton if I can find it I'll put a picture up there of it and it's this one it's simplicity s8984 and the one that I think she made was this one with a border on the bottom. And she had the body, the dress in one colour and a contrast on the border and a contrast in that centre panel there. And it looked absolutely gorgeous. And the back of it is, um, well, I'd have to change that because like that other dress that I made, the one that was, that I, it, it's got gathers on the back and as you know, my bottom doesn't do gathers. My bottom doesn't like gathers. Or at least, I don't like gathers on my bottom. So I may have to amend that somehow. But I do like that. It's for batiks, chalice, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, double georgette, gingham, lightweight linen, silky types, and extra fabric is needed to match plaid, stripes, or one-way designs. It is simplicity sizing what did i get here i got a size 16 to 24 and the 16 to 24 16 to 24 oh, 16 is for a 38 inch bust and 24 is for a 46 inch bust so that is simplicity s8984 i do like that and another one that Viv Mom did, and again, as I say, she was tall and slim, and whether I can get away with it, I don't know, but it did look nice on her, was New Look 6435. And I think the one she made was this one, but it looked a lot nicer on her than that. Um, I quite like um, that one there, the blue one with the points going down. I'm not sure she did that one. Um the one that she did was this one but funny enough that's got gathers there but and i think it's that meant to be that one but that doesn't seem to have as many gathers so that one looks more kind of airliney to that one there um and it, you also get the leggings to go with it so that would be interesting making leggings for myself <laughs> never made leggings it'd be worth trying this is seven sizes in one and it says easy just for knits. Um, you know, we all like easy. The nice thing about an easy pattern and a knit pattern is you can turn it out within an hour or two hours. It's, you know, really good. The sizes I've got here are from a 10 to a 22, which is a 32 and a half inch bust to a 44 inch bust. Uh, I do like that and that's Simplicity 6435, uh, uh, New Look 6435. So the next ones, I've got one, two, three, four, five left. I'm going to show you this one first. I've had this for a number of years, a, a number, a real number of years, but you will notice that I wear hats and this is a hat pattern and it is quick source k4107 now i'm not sure if that's still available but i love wearing hats and i quite like that pink one i haven't made it yet but i probably will and there are other ones there that i quite like um like this one here where you have a tie on the back and that's the rear to let you see what it's like as i say i've had this a long time but i did notice um a few weeks a few weeks ago kittenish behavior had the pattern so whether it's still available or not i don't know or whether somebody had given her it but um i i just i've I hung on to this i think i got it about uh be about six years ago and i just had to have it but i never got around to making it because i never had the time well now i've got the time haven't i ladies haven't we all got the time <laughs> 
So that's Quicksaw K4107 if you get the chance to find that and you want to make hats. The next one is very similar to this one. So you say, you may ask yourself, why have you got it? I ask myself, why have I got it? <laughs> the thing is, you know, it's a bit like stash. I buy these patterns and every time I buy them, I think, well, you know, I could have just taken such and such a pattern and modified it because that pattern there could be made into this pattern here. And so this one here that I've got is New Look 6298. It's a V-neck one and it's got pockets, V-neck with pockets. That's the green one that she's got on. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I've just made a top like that. Uh, any top can be converted into a V. So I could have really taken that pattern, made it a bit shorter, put a V on it, and had the set and put some pockets on because they're just patch pockets and I could have saved myself four pounds <laughs> but you know we women you've got to have you want a pattern you know I'm attracted by the color of the top there I'm attracted by not liking green but funny enough I'm starting to like green look I've got green on now khaki green I love khaki green or army green and um, that one I wasn't as impressed by in a sense because I'm not overly into maroons but maroons are starting to look nice with grey hair so that one anyway this one new look 6298 it is uh, another one for knits I like ah, that one there's a difference that one has sleeves that are set in this one has raglan sleeves where is it there this one has raglan sleeves in fact you could have taken any t-shirt and extended it out to take to cater for it the only thing i'm looking at is does it have a dark on the front let's have a look at this is that meant to be a fold or is that a dart No, I think it's a fold. I was wondering whether there was a dart down the front of these because they've all got a line down the front there and there. And I wondered what, whether that meant it was a line, a dart. But no, I think that's just showing you that it's got a slight, a slight folding to it. So that's the, um, those are the patterns, the line patterns. Very straightforward for knits. Could turn that out in a couple of hours again. The hardest part is tracing the pattern off. I, I remember years ago I used to sit and trace, I used to, uh, not tracing the pattern, I was cutting the pattern out. I still cut patterns out. Um, PDF ones I, I stick together and I cut out, but I'm starting to, because the paper is really thick, I'm starting to do one of two things. I've just ordered some thin paper, 40 GSM paper, which is very thin and it's cheap. And I figured I'll put that through the printer and see if that, that comes out thinner and it, then I can fold it up easier or i may stick the pdf together and trace it off with thinner tracing paper because they do not take up a lot of room these uh, pdfs when you print them out now that leaves me with one two three four dresses uh, no four patterns rather this one that i'm going to show now is a one that this my latest purchase uh, i purchased it just the other day just came the other day through the door with the postman when I was in isolation and it came with um, <laughs> oh where's it gone ah, there. I got two that was the first one that I got with this one it came last week I think it was or no it came the start of this uh, well, Sunday today it came about Tuesday or Wednesday and the other one that I got with it which I thought was lovely but again I'm not tall and slim but I do like wearing these kind of things it's a Buttrick 6717 and the one that I like is this long shirty type thing that can hide a multitude of bumps and bulges so you could wear a very slim, fitting, tight fitting uh, cami underneath and have something like that. I wear things out quite often and I they're in a, like a crepe dish, not a crepe dish, uh, uh, is it? 
I think it's a crepe de chine or it's a or it's a uh, like a very see-through chiffon crepe and the real they let the air go through oh, my foot just slipped off the table they let the air go through easily so in the summer you, you've got the wind blowing through but you're, you're being kept warm air uh, cool but um they also hide bumps and bulges and i like the way the color is on that it's a, a waterfall color so i'll take it out of its packet to let you see the um To let you see the layout of it you get the trousers as well and that is that's the layout there waterfall you can have it with a waterfall with the collar and sleeves i like the one with the collar and sleeves i think that's lovely really nice so I, I definitely will be making that and the fabrics that it tells you to use are chalice rayon linen crepe ponty knit stable knits and uh, lining fabrics is it lined loose fitting jacket a and b loose fitting jacket a coat b and vest c so a that's your a loose fitting jacket coat b and vest c so that'd be quite nice for the summer as well and um they have a collar with a shaped hemline wrong side shows and narrow hem a has long sleeves and sash b has a stitched hem on sleeve with button and tab c is sleeveless a and b have a front shield loose fitting pull on pants no, A and B have a front shield, loose fitting pull on pants, D have back elastic, side seam pockets and stitched hem. I like that. I'm, I think I'll definitely be making that. I'll be making it for the summer, but you don't know whether we're going to be, you know, I've got making all these clothes. Nobody's going to see them by me from the looks of things because we're being told or we're, we're reading that we may still be confined by June. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. <laughs> right i'm left with three patterns the first one somebody was selling this on facebook and i loved the look of it in fact it's very very similar to the one that i've just made the uh, vivace top that i've just made and it's by simple source somebody was selling it and they were selling it cheap and i emailed them and said have you still got it and she said no and i was quite disappointed because i did like the shape of it and what i did was i went to look online to see what people looked like in this dress and i thought and, and they looked and i also looked to see what bigger people looked like and they looked very nice so um what i decided was i i was prepared to pay a bit more for it to get this pattern so I got it and it's the Zoe Simple Sew Zoe Dress and Top and that's the dress and top and the um that's the rear that's the rear view and as I say when I saw the pictures I thought it was really nice it says uh fabric suggestions are denim chambray medium to heavyweight cottons linens and linen blends corduroys lightweight tweeds well i can see that in some kind of knitted version or the only trouble with knitted is if you use it too much you end up getting a bump when you sat down your bottom curves the fabric so a linen or a chambray might be actually better because then it won't stretch that knit it won't stretch the fabric as much um and as i say it's a it's a dress and a top so i quite like that very very similar to the vivace top only it hasn't got a fold down the middle but i just thought it'd be quite nice to get and this one um it's a size 8 to a 20 and it doesn't tell you what a size 8 to a 20 is does it tell you here an 8 is a 33 inch bust and a 20 is a 45 inch bust strange usually 20 is 44 uh very straightforward and look at look at the instructions all you're doing is cutting two two halves sewing them together doing a bit of top stitching 
and then turning the sleeves in you could have that made it's because i say the cutting out of the pattern probably takes longer than putting putting the fabric and sewing it so that is a really good one to that i'm, I'm quite keen to try that out um and then that leaves me with two and the first one was a lady on uh oh now what's her name i'm gonna stop this and find out. and uh the last two i can't remember how i came across this one. Oh, i know uh these two i saw both of them on uh one of them on instagram and one of them on the cash curvy on one of them on facebook and one of them on instagram and whilst they're not dresses for big women this lady who was wearing it looked really good in it she had a she had the sleeves covered but it still looked lovely and this is the mccall 7774 i would not wear it without sleeves likely unless i was in the company of just my husband perhaps but this lady had a lovely lace jacket over it and it looked really lovely that was the one that she made uh the long one and it looked absolutely gorgeous so um again that's got a gathered back um there's two versions i can't remember whether she did the one without the uh, the one there without the without the um the gathers i'll have to try and find pick pull out the pictures to let you see what it looked like but she looked absolutely wonderful and um this is it i got this one it's a size uh six to a 14. why did i get a size 14. uh oh gonna have to do some sizing up six to a 40 is that right oh i think they've given me a six to a 14. a six to a 14 is a bust 30 and a half to a 36 so i'm gonna have to do some big sizing up on that one could make it for my daughter though that would be quite nice for my daughter or i, I may get another one it just depends on how much i've got to size it up if, I, if it's a lot then i shall um probably go for a bigger size and this one was someone on instagram was wearing this and it looked gorgeous she had it in a broadery anglaise and this was mccall's m7974 it is absolutely gorgeous one is what she had made with the uh with those sleeves i don't know if you can see those sleeves there uh really nice i, I figured that would look quite nice and uh it's very similar to another dress i can't remember which one it is but that one there is quite nice without sleeves um that would be quite 
it's a bit like the penny dress in a sense but it's got a little bit more of a bodice on it um you may actually be able to tell me what that what that reminds me of i've seen it before i've seen kittenish behavior make dresses a bit like that but this one i just thought it was absolutely lovely the broderie anglaise looked lovely on it and uh, i'm tempted to buy some broderie anglaise i've seen lovely teal broderie anglaise uh so i might just see if i can make it up in that um this is as i say it's a 14 to a 22 mccall's m7974 and the sizes are bust 30 and a half no sorry 36 bust to a 44 bust i love that one so as you can see i probably will not make half of these at least not in the next year I would like to try I'd love to be able to say that I can make them all but uh, I'd have a wardrobe that was absolutely chocolate block but this is uh, these are all my patterns and uh, they're all my patterns all falling off but um, I'm doing this because I've got to have a picture for the front of the video so um, yeah hope you enjoyed it catch you next time bye